President Nixon spent the 4th of July today at the Western White House in San Clemente, California. He made a radio talk about the 200th anniversary of the country, which takes place in 1976. For the radio talk, Mr. Nixon wore a red sports coat, a white shirt, and a blue tie. And he said the combination was appropriate for the 4th of July. Here's a report from Richard Valeriani. President Nixon plans to spend at least two weeks at his Oceanside home here in San Clemente, a working vacation, his aides call it, while the Democrats meet in Miami Beach to choose his opponent. But he's not leaving the center stage entirely to the Democrats, as he demonstrated on this Fourth of July holiday with a live radio address to the nation. In his broadcast, Mr. Nixon focused on the bicentennial celebration being planned for four years from now, the nation's 200th birthday. And he said he would extend an unprecedented invitation to the world to come visit the USA during the next four years. The commission named to organize that celebration has been criticized for moving too slowly. And the president himself has been accused of trying to make political points with the bicentennial celebration. But there's no doubt Mr. Nixon fully expects to preside over that event. And he's already renamed the presidential jet the Spirit of 76. Richard Valeriani, NBC News in San Clemente. The 4th of July was celebrated by Americans all over the world today in different ways, and we have chosen to show you tonight two different kinds of celebrations. One of the most colorful and picturesque takes place near the Capitol in Washington as the Smithsonian Institution stages its annual folk festival. The other celebration of Independence Day took place at the Attica State Prison in New York. And here is what these two celebrations looked like today. Good night and a happy fourth for NBC News.